today, Tom and I have spent the last few hours kind of game planning and mapping out what will be our very first Prism Lens Effects storefront. <sighs> Looks so good, so stoked. Currently down at the Prism Wear house today and we're clearing out that back office uh, or storage room to turn into an office slash kind of shooting corner content area so yeah i'll keep you guys updated document a little bit of the process but very excited to have a, a office separate from my home as well as like just a corner that i can pop up and shoot at here without having to like set up you know lights and cameras and stuff it'll just be walk in flick on the lights flick on the camera good to go so that'll be tremendous for increasing productivity and just like the processes workflow of, of everything we're doing here at prison so excited. all right tom what are you doing here all right so break it down short and sweet all right we got a couple bolts we're gonna bolt this piece of wood to this pre-existing wood that's underneath here and then on top of this We've got some speed rail that we picked up at a metal shop today. Schedule 40, one and a half inch, you know what it is. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, essentially that's going to go over there. Speed rail, speed rail, and then a little top-down camera rail. So, ready? Yeah. Oh, Great call, Tom. I didn't think that was possible. You don't even know how much of a struggle that was to get this thing in here just now. Some blood, some some wounds, some battle scars, but it's gonna be great. So yeah, Tom's gonna, like I mentioned, build kind of this top-down rig here of a light. You can mount the camera. Cheese plate, kind of boom. Overhead. It's gonna be great. We are getting there, coming together nicely. It's about the three-quarter check-in. Looking good. So for those wondering, these movie posters and TV series posters are from a company called Sandgrain. Uh, very, very cool posters. All of them are from that same company. So shout out to them. This is not sponsored in any way. Just really dope posters with this cool kind of minimalist design. Go check them out. What are you doing, Tom? We overhead boys. Um, pretty much, I don't know where you're at in this update, but essentially the table's in, we've got the speed rail, one and a half inch schedule C, uh, speed rail essentially. And then we're going to add a little cross beam and then this will hang here. And then what's cool is you can actually lower these by tightening and loosening this and you can like essentially bring the whole thing up and down. So it'll be cool. Yeah. It should be cool. Yes. All right. So the office pretty much all set up so i'll give a quick little tour of that very very excited let's go so upon walking in we got the top down rig set up content corner we've got the desk we've got a little kind of pod content corner set up chill zone Whew, looks so good so stoked yeah everything's pre-rigged Got the red Komodo mounted from above, Sigma 18 to 35. And the only thing we're missing right now, I need a BNC cable to run to this monitor. So I have this monitor set up over here so that I can do stuff and see what I'm doing over here. Charging station, uh, Amaran's rigged up to the speed rail. Can control these through Bluetooth as well from my phone. I got a little storage space underneath. And then yeah, couch setup, chill zone. Thinking I attached this kind of podcast arm here because I thought might at some point do some sort of talking head content here. But also after I set up my desk and kind of pre-rigged this light up here with a little scissor clamp um, that I might actually kind of shoot content from this corner using my Fuji looking back at that space. So we'll see. But nonetheless, very excited to have like an official kind of office space set up where kind of all in one can shoot and create content, move over to here, edit, post, shoot stuff, YouTube videos and so forth. So really going all in 
for Prism this year and kind of shifting my focus, attention, and energy to that brand and company. So very excited. So right now we are at the carpet warehouse, which is in, where are we right now? Downey? I think Downey? so, yeah. Downey, California. I mean, just endless, endless rolls of carpet. Yeah, this is like where Costco. Yeah, this is where I picked up the, the carpet for honeymoon. We've always gone to this place called Linoleum City, which I th feel like we've talked about in past videos, but if you ever, I mean, just look into a new room, carpet, endless carpet selection. So we just picked out the carpet. Oh, show yeah, we'll show you which carpet. We just picked out the carpet for our like 90s blockbuster Hollywood-esque video store for Prism Lens Effects, which is kind of like this old school kind of blue, you know, because the carpet, we want the floor to be blue, walls to be yellow, kind of reminiscent. Yeah, we that. watched like this 40 minute like montage of every blockbuster commercial. And it's cool because they filmed them in all the blockbusters across the world. And yeah, I mean, this is the one right here. Flip it around. Like, kind of we get a lot of Hollywood crews. Like this is what I would use if I was building a blockbuster. But so. it feels 90s. You even have like the hints of purple. Mm. You know what I mean? Which is very like that blue and purple. Uh, so that's something we've learned too. Like the darker is better for like dirt and Foot dust traffic. and grime stains. Because like a really light carpet shows a lot of uh, imperfections very quickly. So, you know, so this will mask the, you know, not that I expect it to get too dirty, but you know, obviously people coming in off the street, oh, you know, you know, you never know, right? So yeah, this is cool. So anyways, carpet. Today, Tom and I have spent the last few hours kind of game planning and mapping out what will be our very first Prism Lens Effects storefront which will be like the old school 90s video store, like Blockbuster, Hollywood Video. So as you can see, we've got everything kind of taped and mapped out here. This will be the counter, the checkout counter where you come to check out or return your products. Uh, we'll have the little return box. Um, uh, we'll have the, our neon sign here. But anyways, this will be the checkout. We'll have kind of this, we, what we mapped out is this little kind of draw I don't know, drawstring, draw board, whatever, countertop that'll flip up so the employee can come from behind the counter and help. But over here, you can see that'll be the front entrance of the store, but these blue taped marked areas are the shelves where we'll put those VHS cases. And having this shelf run along this wall all the way to here, then having kind of this double-sided uh, shelf here so you have kind of a little aisle here of which you can get go through and make it feel like more of a store. Initially, you know, we kind of wanted a more open floor plan. Um, and then we, you know, obviously kind of taped out the shelves and realized now nah, like we need it to like, feel like when you stepped back into old store and you were going through the aisles looking for those uh, movies and videos. So same thing, kind of created this middle barrier, double-sided. So you'll be able to sift through the different filters that you want. And obviously like, you know, in the, the old store where they had like new releases, horror drama like we'll have signs that like label the different filters right like diffusion nds handhelds and so yeah follow me this way i think up front we're gonna do some cool last you know minute decorating and signage and stuff once it's all done but like gumball machine you know different like oh for sale here this that like i i something i thought would be really cool is if we did like a cardboard cutout of like tom and i and we're getting custom like prism lens effects blockbuster style outfits made and so doing like a cardboard cutout of us with like the membership card and it's like become a member now uh to just like take it there we want like i said when we when you step into this store we want you to feel like you're stepping back in time a little bit like a, a time capsule and so over here something that we're thinking would be really fun is like a claw machine and inside the claw machine have a bunch of our products and filters and accessories so you can like have a chance to to win some products then continuing on the shelving down here uh, to uh, this kind of little gap here. We thought it'd be cool since there's electric running here to put like a old school arcade game. So we're trying to, we took to Instagram actually and asked you guys like what, what kind of like standing arcade game we should get. I really fuck with NBA Jam. Uh, I think that's a fun one. So we'll, we'll see what the people say. But then right here, kind of doing like a merch section with a, like a CC old TV, Betacam, VHS kind of, 
hooked up to the TV that is like focused in here. So it kind of becomes like a fun little like selfie moment. Like you visited the Prism store, you could like take a photo, but you could see yourself on the TV and we'll have the hats, t-shirts and, and other little products and accessories that we're working on uh, for the store displayed here. And then in the back, I won't take you guys all the way back through there, but we'll have, we're building out like an official kind of like podcast content room as well so that we can just be dropping more content consistently on the Prism YouTube channel, whether that's like an interview or, you know, like a podcast interview or me and Tom talking about current topics in the industry uh, or even just doing, yeah, cool, just cool pieces of valuable content for you guys and dropping on the Prism channel. We are also documenting this whole build out and the construction. I won't be like vlogging it because we are doing a separate video for that for the YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe to the Prism YouTube channel, which obviously when that drops, I'll make a video that explains that that is out. You can go check that out if you wanna see like the step-by-step -step process of building out a storefront. But yeah, I mean, ultimately super, super excited uh, about this. We've never had a physical storefront before for Prism. I think it's about time because I can't tell you how many times DP friends of mine or Tom's uh, or just emails we get from customers like, hey, I'm in LA and I have a shoot tomorrow and I need to grab a filter. Uh, can it, can, is there a spot I can get one? And it's like, no, there's not. And, you know, obviously shipping is going to take a few days. So having a, a local, you know, base camp in LA where people can like pick up filters, whether it's buy or rent last minute, I think is going to be instrumental. And then down the road, we're thinking about opening potentially like leaning into like a rental spot for obviously our filters, but then lenses as well. Maybe picking up some lenses that we can rent out since our name is Prism Lens Effect. So this is baby steps, but opening our first store, very excited. Hope you guys follow along on the journey. Go follow us, Prism Lens Effects. And yeah, I'll see you later. Hey, okay. Chanel, what are you doing? Putting away the new dreams. We just got our brand new inventory of our brand new Dream Effects filters, the varying strengths, sizes, whatnot. So threadable, magnetic, four by fives. Um, and currently Chanel and her mom are working on organizing. <laughs> the filters. Um, I am currently in the office working on the explainer video uh, for the new Dream Effects filters that we're gonna put on the landing page and uh, make some short form content out of. So I'm getting ready to shoot some B roll of the new filters. Here's a 1 8 strength, still factory sealed um, of the 1 8 strength new Dream Effects. So yeah, just kind of grinding in the uh, the office today and then also planning a short film here's the script shooting in exactly a week from now uh gearing up for the horror film contest lots of amazing content is going to come from the shoot um for youtube and just and some other long form pieces of content we're working on so just a lot happening right now very excited let's go tap in